So you want to learn how to flashlight save? Well, guess what? You came to the right place. My name is McStan, and I'm going to teach you how to flashlight save. I'm going to teach you how to time them correctly, the range you can flashlight save, and I'm also going to show you some advanced flashlight saves that you may or may not know about. Now, before I get into the saves, I'm going to go over the different types of flashlights and their add-ons. So, of course, you start with the yellow flashlight. It's just called a flashlight. Then you have the green flashlight, which is a sport flashlight, and the purple flashlight, the utility flashlight. Now, all these flashlights work exactly the same way. The only difference between them is the blindness duration, the visual brightness, and the seconds you have to use them. So, of course, the purple is the best. It has the 12 seconds of use. Now, it's also, it slightly reduces accuracy, but that does not matter. It's all about you, where you aim it, okay? So, the only thing that are going to change these are the add-ons. So, uh, really, a yellow one can work just as good as a purple. So, the best add-ons, or the main add-ons, are the, the batteries in these flashlight bulbs. Okay, so the batteries are going to extend your use of the flashlight and these bulbs are going to increase the duration. Now, the best add-ons as of right now are the to run a green battery and the low amp filament. This right here decreases your battery consumption. So, you may have realized something it's all about how long you can use your flashlight because really these add-ons don't really uh affect them unless you're gonna use something weird which i'll get over i'll go over in a second now if you don't have an ant filament i would run two batteries and you can also run these uh these will bind for a little bit longer so you can if you bind somebody you can hide a little bit longer you have more time to get out of there but let's get over to the the weird add-on so You'll have this one, the high-end sapphires lens. What this does is widen your beam, basically. So, when you have a wider beam, you can't flashlight save, like, as far away as you normally could. So, you're going to be able to flashlight uh, easier. You don't have to aim as good, but you have to be really close for this to work. And the other one would be the focus lens. Now, this one you can blind from further away because it and it increases your increases your accuracy because it tightens the beam now the only drawback to that is it makes it harder for you to aim because the beam's so small so it really doesn't increase the accuracy at all it just it makes it where you can do you know range things and you also have these the grips which increase your accuracy which basically do the same thing as the focus lens and that's about it. Oh, this one right here, the tier, uh, I never use this optic. This increases the, uh, the brightness and the duration. I guess it's like the yellow version of the, uh, green bulb and the red bulb. So, with all the add-ons and the flashlights out of the way, let's get straight to the, uh, tutorial. So, I'm gonna go over the basic save first. The easiest save to do, the most common save to do, which is to line up right in front of the killer and aim it straight at their face. Now, in order to pull this save off, you want to aim the flashlight right at their face, and you have to wait until the killer actually puts the survivor on their shoulders. So, like, as soon as he hit it right there, see, in slow motion, I aimed it. Also, if you didn't notice, I have to hold the flashlight until the beam closes. You see how the beam is slowly moving in? If it does not move in like that, you did not get the save. Now I'm going to go over the angles you can get. There are really only two angles you can get in this game, and that is the straight on one or the slightly turned angle, which I'm showing you right now. You see how the wraith is slightly turned to the side? Also with this ghost face, he's slightly turned to the side as well. Now you cannot get blinds or saves if you bind the back of the killer's head or the side of the killer's head, as you can see with this legion. Now I'm on to range saves. This is an advanced save. It will take practice. Basically, you're going to save people at long distances. That's what this is all about. So as you can see from these clips I'm about to show you, you have to pre-aim and move at the same time while you're uh, getting the save. So look, I'm out of range right here. 
I'm not going to get the save. So I'm moving forward. I'm trying to get her head. I got it. Got the save. The next save uh, for the spirit. I'm coming for my teammate. I don't even have the angle on this one. So I'm going to pre-flashlight this one. I don't even get her head uh, right away. And boom. Got the save. Now I'm on to perks that can help you save people. So, as you can see with this Huntress, they down my teammate, but I would not be able to get that save, right? Well, guess what? I have Sprint Burst. So, Sprint Burst right here allows me to get the save, get the angle, because this is not an angle. So, I use Sprint Burst. I get right in front of the killer. I get the angle I need. I get the save. It worked out perfectly. Same thing goes for Dead Hard. I don't have an angle here. I use Dead Hard. I get right in front of the killer. Get the flashlight save. These two perks are really good for helping you get angles that you normally couldn't get. So let's say you're behind a killer or on side of a killer that you can't get to. You use Dead Hard or you use Sprint Burst and boom, you're right in front of them. You get that save. These are two really good perks. It'll take practice to get them. Uh, you might miss a few of them, but it can work really good. The next save is the double flashlight blind. Now this is when you and another survivor blind the killer at the same time. So what this does is if one of you are off with your timing, the uh, blinds stack. So let's say you know you blinded early, well your teammate can come and blind and that blind's gonna add to your blind. You get a quicker save, It's it doesn't require communication, just you know, Everybody going for saves. Alright, so next we're going to go over the most abused save in the game. The locker save. Now this save right here is totally uncounterable. Like the killer cannot counter it. Basically, you want to wait for a survivor to get in a locker, and when the killer goes to pull them out, you blind them. It goes, it's just like a normal save. You wait for them to put them right on their shoulder. You just got to wait and blind them as soon as they pull them out. This save right here, there's nothing you can do if you're a killer. Now we're on to the CJ Tech. Now, this is a very situational flashlight save, and it's also pretty advanced. Basically, a survivor has to be slugged or downed, and they need to crawl to a pallet. Now, when they get to the pallet, you want to go and slam the pallet and immediately jump over the pallet. When doing this, this is going to force the killer to pick up the survivor instead of breaking the pallet. So, as you can see in these clips right here. And when you jump over, you want to get that save. I'm going to put it in slow motion for you. Notice uh, when I go to throw the pallet, it slides the survivor on the side of the killer. Now I jump immediately. He's trying to break the pallet, I, but he can't, so he's prompted to pick up the survivor. I get the flashlight save right there. Now sometimes even uh, if the killer is too eager to break this pallet, like this one, he picked up the survivor immediately. So sometimes they can pick him up right away. This is a very good mechanic to counter uh, people being slugged. So maybe, you know, if you're on comms, tell your friend to crawl over to a, uh, a down pallet and you can get that CJ tech on them. All right, that's about it. I hope you learned some things from this video. I hope you learned how to flashlight saves. Maybe you knew how to flashlight save, but you weren't you know too good at them maybe you learned some saves that you didn't even know existed in this game uh, so you know go out there and practice these saves will take practice uh, I have been playing this game for over three years so I have a lot of experience with uh, flashlights so they're kind of second nature to me now but if you're new to this game these will take practice I it took me a while to get them so you know don't give up if you're not getting these saves don't, you know also, if you found this video helpful, remember, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and if you're not a part of the McNugget army, smash that subscribe button, become a soldier chicken nugget, and go to war with us. And as always, 
thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.